there lovely souls welcome back to my channel if you are here for the first time or if you're a regular visitor please don't forget to subscribe so that you stay up to date whenever i release a new video about spirituality esotericism and self-transformation today i want to announce the start of a mini series consecrated to astrology. This is a topic that I absolutely adore. If you know me in real life, you know I really like astrology. And um, in this series, we're gonna look at the, the zodiac signs, their energies, how to understand them better, how to inc incorporate all of those um, insights and in depth information into our daily life or practice. Uh, we're also gonna look at how to read our own natal chart. And so on and so forth but before we get started uh, I thought this video was important because I would like to share my own story how I discovered astrology and the things that it has taught me so far it's still teaching me so many blessings and lessons every day uh, but I thought sharing with you what it has taught me and what it can inevitably teach you as well is a good foundation so that we have a better understanding of what we're speaking about. What astrology can teach us is really something that can be life-changing and powerful because it makes us look at things differently. Some people nowadays, because astrology has become something mainstream, even like pop culture-like, um, really have this wrong understanding about astrology. They either use it to to say, oh, I'm 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 a cheater because I'm a Gemini, you know, or I'm a, I'm an asshole because I, I'm a Scorpio, or no, no, I don't get along with Pisces or Virgos. Like, stop doing that, please. Um, astrology is not an excuse. It is not something uh, that limits you or l labels you. It is not something that. Um, tells you if you're a good or bad person. It does not dictate if you're going to get along with, well with people or not. That's you. <laughs> That's you and only you. You make the conscious choice to either use the energy that you receive to make it something better or to make it something worse. So I really like to give this example whenever I speak about astrology in general. When you are born, you are given some codes in your genetics you know you have more chances of having diabetes as an example or uh, getting a certain form of cancer but depending on your lifestyle so on the conscious choices that you will make throughout your life you can either do that you know reach that predicament and therefore you know do devel develop a certain type of cancer or diabetes whatever or you can live differently it's the same for astrology. You are given some inherent energies that you can really tap into this way. You know, you're, you have certain types of energies that are born with you and that you can use in such an easy way. May them be um, uh, fiery uh, in their nature, drive, ambition, and so on and so forth, or an analytical uh, an observational or emotional, you have certain types of energies that you have a facility with. But it does not mean that the other energies are foreign to you. It does not mean that this is the only thing you can be or the only thing that you can do. No. First thing up, what is astrology? Astrology is the study of the movement of the planets and how those celestial bodies, by moving in the sky, reflect back on the, the interactions and connections that happen in the human being. To put it in a clearer way, let's think of it as a macrocosm and a microcosm. See, our, our elders, you know, in past generations, people really knew as a fact at that time and still today that whatever we see up there is a representation of what's going on in here so above so below and vice versa you know when i first met astrology so yeah let's let's do this story time um i was the biggest skeptic in the entire universe so i'm i'm a virgo so today it does make sense but at that time it was um it was 
in the beginning of high school of my high school years and i just learned at that moment in time uh, about the barnum effect which is when you know you read something that is general and because you want it to you want to you know em embrace it and make it your own you kind of see yourself in it uh, they did a test i think a survey where they gave a personality test to uh, some people and all of those people had the same answers and they felt like they connected to that that's the barnum effect you can look it up but at that time whenever i used to read you know the the traits uh, the personality traits of virgo or my horoscope i used to say oh my god what a pile of bullshit every time i was like this th yeah there are some parts of me that are in there but this is so wrong so as someone who is analytical and you know likes to get in depth with the things that i do not trust or do not um, understand i like to get facts between you know i like to to see it from for myself i don't like to uh, just deny it and not have proof of it so i uh, decided to look it up i started reading as much as i could about astrology in order to tell anybody who tells me oh you're this because you're this sign go fuck yourself that was my first motivation behind astrology i wanted so bad to look at it and go like okay i am sure now 100 percent i did the research and it does not add up but then i started doing my own chart and other people's charts around me and i started seeing that hmm, you know most of the times not most of the times all the time um the things that i saw in paper and what i saw in real life was really really adding up and i started understanding that there's so much complexity that our sun sign is just the tip of the iceberg and that there's a branch of things that i didn't even know of at that moment so for, fast forward to the today i am still learning about astrology every day the way i read my chart is definitely not the same way i read it two weeks ago, three months ago, a year ago, and so on and so forth. Every time I look at something and I discover more meaning behind it and I read more books or listen to more podcasts about astrology and really began to see just how complex the human psyche is. So, during the eight years during the eight years or so that I have been studying astrology, I have learned a few things and I want to share them with you. The first thing is humans as individuals, the human psyche is the most complex thing out there. It is a beautiful, beautiful way to start learning more about um, how things um, are so complex because of how they are working together the same number of traits manifests in people completely differently um, because everyone uses them differently you can have 12 virgos or 12 pisces people in front of you but they will never be the same because there's so many other factors there are so many other houses degrees aspects combinations involved in their charts and also in how they use it let's say two people have the same exact chart which is by the way impossible like physically impossible but let's say two people have the same fingerprint they would still be different because they would use that energy differently and that's the beauty of astrology it tells you that yeah there are only 12 types of energies in the world but you can use them so completely different from your neighbor or friend or mother or father you could be born and raised in the same house but because you have different ways of approaching the universe of looking at the universe you will be completely separate yet there's things that bind you together there's things that make you one because there you are made of the same types of energies just different levels and different combinations so that's the first thing that i really really appreciate about astrology and that so many people need to learn from especially nowadays the second thing that astrology can teach us is um how one topic which is for this case scenario astrology 
um, can actually lead us to, towards so many other topics, complementary topics that allow us to understand it even better. So if you're somebody who's in love with learning, you know, with uh, broadening their mind and actually, you know, gaining more, more uh, knowledge and insight, you will discover that by studying astrology, you will get uh, to a point where you have to study uh, history as an example or symbology um, or, you know, uh, astronomy. You, you will have to pick up some other topics and dive into them in order to understand what you are looking at or elsewhere, you know, you're not going to find that information elsewhere. You know, the information that you're looking for regarding astrology may be in another topic and that's something really beautiful when you think of it this way you start to realize that sometimes we are so caught up in trying to find an answer to a problem that we have in our daily life in that topic in that realm we have say let's say we have a problem in our relationships or we have a problem in our work environment and we keep looking for answers within that thing well no sometimes it is time to take a step back look at another topic let's say psychology or um, health or um, I don't know anything else and do work and research within that field and you will get results about the other thing that you had something stuck in it, you know, in the first place. So this is really something that's beautiful because when you start doing it, you start realizing that you fix your problems way quicker and you come to, um, to being better at anal analogies. When you understand astronomy and you are faced with an astrological question, you put, you know, correlations and get the answer so much quicker. When you understand the animal realm, as an example, you can understand why Aries is represented by a ram or why Taurus is represented by a bull and so on and so forth. So, yeah, astrology is um, a great doorway towards so many other fascinating topics like science, astronomy, uh, history especially. So yeah, don't forget to do your research in other places if you are interested whatsoever in astrology because that will definitely help you. And the third thing about astrology that I really, really uh, appreciate, I think a lot of people should learn about, is that nothing, nothing is set in stone. Astrology does not tell you if you're a good or bad person. It does not tell you, oh no, it's okay, you can do that because you're this sign or that sign. It does not tell you that you cannot talk to any other sign because you are not compatible or whatever. Oh my god. I will actually do a video on astrology stereotypes that are absolutely bullshit. I think I'm gonna do that video. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that video because guys, no. Astrology is nothing that is set in stone. It gives you energies. And think of it, you are born and you are given a white canvas. This white canvas has some lines in it that are already drawn. Let's suppose you're um, a Libra rising Taurus with planets in each different um, houses and whatever. Therefore, you will have different lines that are written already for you in your canvas. You can either follow that, it's going to be a beautiful canvas, or you can go another way. But ultimately, if you want something really beautiful, you're gonna have to follow those lines and see where they lead. Why are they there? Why are they on your canvas? What are they trying to teach you? How can you benefit from those lines to create the drawing you want? You're not, you're not gonna be um, the stereotype of your signs of, or your, of your natal chart. You don't want that. You don't want to be limited, but you do want to take advice from the universe, let's say. The universe gives you uh, a natural ability to communicate. Use that to your advantage. Use that and then move on to something else. It is really a blessing in disguise and so many people um, discard those things and end up being the stereotype of their signs or um, people just, you know, label people according to astrology and end up uh, not meeting some people who would have 
taught them so much like i met i meet so many people on a daily basis who tell me oh my god no i do not speak to leos or gemini's because i hate those people i don't get along with them like that's so limiting guys nothing is set in stone and if you do that you are actually hurting yourself and shooting yourself by the foot because if you have a resistance if there's a type of people who you know naturally don't have an easy time talking to you whatever it may be the time to look at why that is the case because there's always a lesson to be learned there always something that you can gain from any type of relationship so stop trying to think of it as a compatibility type of bullshit because it's really far more complex than just your sun sign of course the people who told me these things are talking based on their sun sign they're not if only they were telling me this based on all the components of their chart and the person's chart but no they're most likely judging a book by its cover which is the zodiac sign which is not even the real cover but anyways nothing is set in stone guys do never forget that and finally the thing that astrology has taught me is that our intuition is our best compass in this universe when you start diving into astrology you start realizing that you will start guessing some people's signs based on your intuition you know because they remind you of other people who are of that sign you start uh, understanding elements better because you start seeing how each water sign or fire sign behaves in certain environments um you know it becomes really intuitive to understand astrology and it really sharpens your intuition your observation skills your analysis of people and society around you and even of yourself and that's the ultimate goal by learning more about others you learn about yourself and vice versa anyways that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet yes i am watching you you have not subscribed yet so do that come on i'm i'm waiting <laughs> anyways thank you so much for your support and please comment down below what's your zodiac sign because next video in this series is going to be all about the 12 zodiac signs their energies their strengths why they're here and what they can give us as individuals so yeah, it's going to be a really fun video to shoot. I cannot wait until the moment it's going to be out. So until then, take care of yourself and yeah, stay home, I guess. Bye-bye. <laughs>